Julia Sanchez and this is my video. Good evening viewers. I am here with Emma from Florida International University and I am here to ask her a couple questions about her job. How long have you been at your job? I've been at FIU for 25 years now. Has your role changed since you've been there? Yes, I started there in the controller's office. I moved up to the College of Arts and Sciences. Then I moved to the foundation office and now I'm in the Green School of International and Public Affairs. What did you do before your current job? I managed the office of um, an interior design firm. Why did you decide to change your job? I think I needed a change in my career and I liked accounting so much that I went into the accounting at Florida International University and currently I'm a financial analyst and I do a lot of budget and all that information. What's your favorite part about working there? The people, the people are very nice and they take care of you know their staff and we have a lot of professional development and you can take, you can improve your um, courses, you can go to school, get your bachelor's degree, which is very important for the job that I do. Thank you. Hi, I'm Julia Sanchez and I'm a part of the Topman All-Stars. I'm on the junior level one team and these are a few requirements to being a good cheerleader. Step one, always be in uniform, which consists of the sports bra, the shorts, the proper practice shoes, and to always have your hair up in a high ponytail with a bow. Step two, always walk into the gym with a positive mindset and a good attitude. A positive mindset is when you don't give up. If your stump falls, do it again and don't complain about it. Having a good attitude consists of cheering on your teammates and counting your routine. Step three, make sure you're always stretched before going into practice. Good ways to stretch is by doing back bends, doing splits, and rolling out your wrists. Another part of being a good cheerleader is always being focused. Try not to get distracted easily. When the coaches are talking, make sure to look at them and don't talk to the other teammates. When a coach gives you a correction, make sure to do it better next time. Always know that you're not always going to win a competition. When you lose, take that moment and reflect on it. Doing that can help you better your routine for the next time. And those are a few good ways to be a good cheerleader. I was running through the six with my wife. Crab is unfair. Mr. Crab is in.